Hi, I am Jeff. Hi, I'm Hanny. Welcome to part three of Stories and Fables. Today we'll be reading the third part of a story called The Aged Mother. This is the final portion of this month's lesson. On part two, the farmer and the mother ventured to the top of the mountain. It was a long, hard journey. That the sun got lost over and over again made matters even worse. Mm-hmm. The farmer got lost again and again, and this made his mother worry. So she took action. She marked the way for him. So that he'd be able to get down the mountain without getting lost again. Well, she kept her actions secret at first. Then, when they reached the top of the mountain, she told him what she'd done. Mm-hmm. The son was touched by her actions and realized that he'd never be able to leave her there at the top of the mountain. He said something like, "Mom, let's." Follow your twigs home and die together. Wow, what a loving son! But there's also the cruel leader.、Mm. I wonder what he will do after having been disobeyed by the farmer and his mother. Anyway, with that, it is now time to look over today's vocabulary. 我们在前一天的故事读到，农夫决定不理会领主的命令，直接把母亲带回家。那到家之后，农夫就把母亲藏在厨房的橱柜里面。有一天，领主又下令说，他要一条灰烬做的绳子。好，先来看两个单字 ，command，command Command, 就是下令、命令。它在课文里面是当动词用。例如 ，The king commanded the soldiers to bring the prisoner before him. The king commanded the soldiers to bring the prisoner before him. 国王下令叫士兵们把那一位犯人带到他的面前。好，第二个单词 rope， rope 就是绳子，它是当名词用。例如， the rope is too short. You need to find a longer one. The rope is too short. You need to find a longer one. 哎，这条绳子太短了，你必须找一条更长的哦。好，那刚刚说到领主下令要一条灰烬做的绳子，这个消息把大家都吓坏了，大家很害怕，要从哪里伸出这种绳子呢？幸好农夫的母亲知道做法，而且他的办法还成功喽。这边有两个单字 f r i g h t e n f r i g h t e n 这个单字是当动词，它表示使什么害怕。那假设你听到一个很可怕的故事，这时候就可以说 ，The story frightened me. The story frightened me. 那个故事让我好害怕，把我给吓坏了。好，那我们说到农夫他的母亲办法成功了 ，success，success success 就是成功，它是当名词用。在访问成功人士的时候，常常会问到这一句 ：What's the secret to your success? What's the secret to your success? 你成功的秘诀是什么呢？好，现在已经看完单字例句，我们赶快读故事吧。At home, the farmer hid his mother in their kitchen closet. He kept her safe and provided her with everything she needed. One day, the leader commanded, "I want a robe of ashes." The news frightened everyone. They didn't want to make him angry. However, the farmer's aged mother knew what to do. Her idea was a success. Explanation one. Welcome to part three of stories and fables. Today we'll be reading the third and final part of a story called "The Aged Mother." On part two of our lesson, the farmer decided to take his mother home. There. They'd die together. He realized that he could not leave his mother to die on the mountain. Mm-hmm. But here's the question: What are they going to do about the cruel leader? I mean, he is not going to be happy when he learns that the aged mother and her son have disobeyed his orders. Well, we are going to answer your question right now. 
The farmer, you see, is going to hide his mother. At home, says the story, the farmer hid his mother in their kitchen closet. There you have it. As long as his mother can stay hidden, the cruel leader won't be able to do a thing to them. Awesome. Awesome indeed. Now living in the kitchen closet is no fun. But remember, this son loves his mother. As such, he both kept her safe and provided her with everything she needed. There you have it. The good son provided for and took care of his mother, so that her life in the kitchen closet was tolerable. Hmm. Anyway, before we move on. We need to hear from Teacher Daphne. Take it away, Teacher Daphne. 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是 provide somebody with something， 意思是提供某物给某人。Provide 是授予动词，提供的意思。使用的时候，后面要接两个受词，一个受词是人，另一个受词是东西。如果我们先接人当受词，句型是。Provide somebody with something. 例如 ，The flight attendant provides each passenger with the best service. 空服员提供每位乘客最佳的服务。如果是先接东西当受词，句型则是 provide something for somebody. 例如 ，The hostess provides lunch for all the guests. 女主人提供午餐给所有的客人。谢谢 Daphne 老师的讲解。故事里面，农夫违背了领主的命令，把母亲带回家，还把母亲藏在厨房的橱柜里。那不但有确保她的安全，还有提供她需要所有物品，好让她可以忍受躲在那里。那这边帮同学们补充一下 ，obey 这个动词，它表示服从、听从或是遵守。那在前面加上否定字首 d i s， 变成 disobey， 就表示不服从。违抗或是违反。那另外 ，Jeff 老师刚刚有用到 tolerable 这个字，它拼作 t o l e r a b l e。tolerable 就是形容可以忍受的，可以容忍的。Well, it looks like they are going to make it. I mean, living in a kitchen closet can't be fun, but it's better than being dead on top of a mountain. Yes, <laughs> yes, it is. I'm with you there, Hanny. Now, don't forget though that this cruel leader guy—he is still around. And get this: one day the leader commanded, "I want a rope of ashes." Huh? A rope of ashes? What? That's impossible. This cruel leader guy is the worst. Yes, yes, he is. Anyway, the news of his newest command spread throughout the land, and the news of this frightened everyone. Everyone knew that it would be impossible to make a rope of ashes for the cruel leader. On the other hand, though, they didn't want to make him angry. Right. This is quite the dilemma for these people. 该怎么办呢？大家都知道灰烬根本做不出绳子，可是又不想惹这个领主生气，这真是两难的局面。好，课文里面有个补充单词 ash 就是灰烬。那我们顺便学一下 dilemma 这个字呢，它拼作 d i l e m m a， 这个字表示两难的困境，进退两难。那幸好我们故事里面这位年迈的母亲，她非常有智慧哦。我们读到 ，however the farmer's aged mother knew what to do。Wow!、Mm -hmm. Indeed, she did apparently, and her idea was a success. Way to go, aged mother! Well done. Well done indeed. But I wonder how she did it. Hmm. hmm. More on that soon. Anyway, with that, it is time to take a break. Don't go away, though. We'll be back with the ending of our story soon. So stay tuned. The leader asked how the farmer did it, so the farmer told the truth. That reminded the leader of the saying, "Wisdom comes with age." He then realized his mistakes and changed. Excellent.
Station Two. Welcome back to part three of Stories and Fables. Hanny and I are here to finish reading The Aged Mother. The Aged Mother has saved the day. Yep, she was the only person who knew how to make the robe of ashes that the cruel leader so desired. But again, here's the question: How did she do it? How did she make the robe of ashes? How did she do the impossible? And yes, apparently we're not the only ones trying to answer this question. The answer. Excuse me. The leader wants to know the answer as well. Yep, and for this reason, the leader asked how the farmer did it. Remember, the leader doesn't know about the aged mother, so he thinks that the farmer must have made the robe of ashes.、Mm -hmm. Anyway, the leader asked, and the farmer answered, and the farmer told the truth. Now. Telling the truth is the right thing to do. I just hope that the leader doesn't get mad at the farmer and his mother for having disobeyed his previous order. Anyway, with that, it is now time for you guys to hear from Teacher Daphne. 第二则文法是 tell the truth， 意思是说出真相。Tell 是及物动词说的意思。动词三态是 tell, told, told. Truth 是名词，实话，事实。因为实话它是特定的事情，所以使用的时候前方一定要加定冠词 the。例如 ，The honest boy always tells the truth. 这个诚实的小男孩总是说实话。Okay, the farmer has just told the cruel leader the truth. My aged mother made the robe of ash," he said. Hmm. Now, the cruel leader could have punished the farmer, but he decided not to. You see, the farmer told the truth, and this, the truth, reminded the leader of the saying, "Wisdom comes with age." Hmm. Would you look at that? It sounds like the cruel leader. Might not be all that bad. Okay, we've but one more sentence to read, and we'll get to it once we hear from Teacher Daphne. 第三则文法是 remind somebody of something， 意思是使某人想起某事。Remind 在这里是及物动词，使想起的意思。后方先接人当受词，再用介系词 of 在点点点方面。引出想起的事情，例如 Harriet's stare reminds me of a cat. 海莉爷的眼神让我想起猫。The cruel leader heard the farmer out. Then, instead of being cruel, he remembered a saying: "Wisdom comes with age." 好，当农夫说出真相，告诉领主是他年迈的母亲想到办法的，那这就提醒了领主一句谚语。年长智增，好，那年纪越大就越有智慧。这边有两个补充单字 ，saying 就是谚语，那么 wisdom 表示智慧。Okay, it is at this point that the cruel leader ceased to be cruel. He stopped being cruel. He then realized his mistakes and changed. Indeed, and they then lived happily ever after. What a change on the leader's behalf! I agree. Okay, everyone. With that, part three of the aged mother is now finished. It is now time for a break. Yes, it is. But don't go away, you guys. We'll be back soon.、Mm. The aged mother. At home. The farmer hid his mother in their kitchen closet. He kept her safe and provided her with everything she needed. One day, the leader commanded, "I want a robe of ashes." The news frightened everyone. They didn't want to make him angry. However, the farmer's aged mother knew what to do. Her idea was a success. The leader asked how the farmer did it. 
so the farmer told the truth. That reminded the leader of the saying, "Wisdom comes with age." He then realized his mistakes and changed. <笑>欢迎收看就爱讲英文我是Steven我是Kate那现在我们要教的英文呢是关于怎么安抚其他人安抚他人好用句子好那我们来看第一个第一个呢就是如果今天有人心情不好还是可能分手了哦对你可以说
success. That event was a huge success. 那场活动办得非常成功。好，太好了！我们这一分钟的练习也非常成功，顺利复习完四个单子了。同学回去也要多多复习，多多造句练习哦。我们下次见，拜拜。